Okay, so let's get right into this. Smash Brothers Online is a mode that I've played quite a lot, but at the same time, I have gotten sick of this mode since the launch of the game. The reason being is that yes, it does allow you to play against opponents across the world, but it also has its fair share of problems. So today I want to go over all of the problems I have with this mode and at the end of this video I'm going to provide a solution about how to fix Smash Brothers Online. Essentially how I would create the mode from scratch if I was the one making it. Alright, let's get smashed online. Okay, boom, we're starting with a big obvious one. The lag. No secret that this is a huge problem. It completely changes how you play and react to the game versus playing Smash in real life. And with this game, the lag is a greater problem than in other games just because Smash is such a technical game with very precise inputs that need to be performed. Honestly, I didn't realize how bad it was until I entered a local Smash Brothers tournament and felt the difference. You have to make a big adjustment in order to play online and you have to adjust back to no lag when playing offline, which is why I honestly just stopped playing online altogether, since it would hinder my performance in tournaments. I get that this is online and things aren't perfect, but come on, I feel like they can do a lot better. In other shooter games, I find there is minimal lag, and in those games you have to maintain a stable connection with 11 other players in most 6v6 games. And then there's Battle Royale, where you have to connect to 99 other players, and I still feel less lag than in Smash. And while in Smash Brothers, you have to connect to one player. Surely, that's easier to maintain a stable connection with than having to connect to all these other players. Maybe just put in a feature that you can toggle which would only allow you to be matched with people with a good connection. This would prevent you from being matched with a slideshow opponent. Okay, next one is just the structure of Smash Online, because it is fundamentally broken. Unlike Smash 4, this time around you have one main mode being Elite Smash. And basically, they kinda took all of the other modes and then jumbled it all into this one playlist. You do get to choose the exact rules that you want to play in this game, but you are not guaranteed that this rule set will be chosen. First of all, are you listening to this? The idea of just putting every single mode into one playlist is wrong. Essentially, it's a gamble as to what rule set is going to be played. A 50-50 chance of having your rule set or someone else's. And most people who are playing online just stick with a standard 1v1 match. No items on either Final Destination or Battlefield. Any other match or rule set that people come across, generally people don't want to play it. So they just leave after the first match. So instead of this playlist trying to please everybody by having essentially any rule set available, it really only gets one rule set being played. Like Nintendo, I get it, there are so many different ways to play Smash Brothers that you can't possibly have enough different playlists to account for everyone's needs. But this is not the way to fix it. Trying to please everyone ultimately, heh, <laughs> see what I did there? Pleases no one. Why not instead have the most popular modes as different playlists, that way you appeal to the largest amount of users. Like sure, there's still gonna be that one guy who's salty about this because he can't play his all item coin battle stamina match anymore online, but it would still please mostly everybody. This is something that even Smash 4 got right by separating online into two playlists, being for casual and competitive players. And a counter argument to this point would be that it is done to allow the playlist to remain populated with the most players, but I feel like this is not a valid excuse. In other games maybe, but this is Smash Brothers. In most modes you only need to find one other player to play against. That's a lot less than the usual amount of players in other multiplayer shooter games. Plus Smash Ultimate is just a huge game now. It sells switches. The player base is really high in this game. Also, by combining every mode into one, it just makes it so you always have to be playing ranked mode or elite smash. This is bad because it limits the way the player has to play the game. What if I just want to go into online smash and just have some casual fun? Well you technically can, but your rank will decrease and then it will match you against weaker players so when you do want to play competitively again, you'll just be plowing through all these people just to get back to your normal rank. Speaking of your rank, that's another thing I have a problem with. Okay, this might sound nitpicky, but I swear this makes a difference. Your global smash power, or GSP, is how you are ranked online and it indicates how many players you are better than. There are literally so many different numbers that could have been used to show how you rank, but this one gives the player no useful information whatsoever. Alright, uh, it's saying I am better than this amount of players. So what? That tells me nothing. Why not just have a regular ranking system? This seems backwards in most games, where one represents the best player in the world and the ranking just goes down from there. That way you could compare yourself to others and try to go for that number one spot. Or even like a percentage would be better, like I'm in the top 10% of players. Literally when more players start buying and playing this game, it'll increase your GSP. That doesn't make any sense. 
Next point again is just something that I'm stunned they messed up, and it's the fact that you cannot change players when you want to rematch the same person. This is crazy that they expect you to keep on playing with the same character. You might be saying why don't you just back out and switch your character and then find a new match. Well a lot of times it could be hard to find a good opponent with stable connection. So those matches where the stars align and you do find that fun opponent to play consecutive games with, you're stuck with the same character. And that might be fun for a bit, but you always want variety in a game. Plus you may just want to counter pick your opponent with a better character. For example, what if you come across a great opponent but he is playing villager and you chose Ganondorf, making it frustrating to be camped by all those projectiles. Now I really would like to play against this person if I wasn't using one of the slowest characters in the game, and if I had a reflector that would be nice too. But nope, that scenario will never happen, so I'll just struggle against these projectiles or leave in shame. Make it so you can switch characters, come on. Next. <laughs> okay, a minor point here, but still an annoyance nonetheless. It's the removal of taunts online. Like come on Nintendo, this decision doesn't make any sense to me. So the reason why this got removed was because this thing in Brawl that happened called taunt parties. Where people would just basically go into a match and keep taunting for the entire time, not fighting each other. Now this was stupid, but back in Smash 4 they did fix this by limiting your taunts to 3 a game and one more taunt from every stock that you take. So there we go, that's perfect, problem solved. Now people can't just spam taunt all game. So why was this changed again in Smash Ultimate? This was not necessary. Like you may see this as a minor point, it's just so ridiculous and not necessary to me. Taunts are a fun little reward of sorts that you can throw out after getting a kill. There's even a strategic element to them since you can use them to make the other player more angry after killing them, which could mess up his mindset going into the next stock and using that to your advantage. On top of that, some of the taunts actually have uses to them, like how Luigi's taunt can spike, Greninja's taunt has a win box, and Snake's taunt spawns a box that can be actually used as a ledge guard. Also, by removing taunts, it started one of the stupidest things on online Smash being teabagging. This is way worse than the taunts. The last thing I want to see is some smartass young Link that's crouching all over the map after every kill. Imagine the lead taunt animator in Nintendo that worked on all of these animations just to find out they're not even in online play. He probably worked hard, worked overtime, missed out on family dinners and spending time with his kids just to find out that, oh, none of my work is going to be featured in online play. Sakurai, I quit. Alright, anyways, so all that being said, here is my end all final solution to how the game mode slash playlist should be laid out. So firstly, you'll need to select one of two options. Ranked or unranked. And each one of these categories will have its own set of modes under them. The first mode is ranked one on one. This is simple, just a one on one match, similar to how Elite Smash is right now, except the rules are similar to tournament rules. The stages in this mode will have a random pick of all the tournament legal stages available. And while the tournament legal stages do vary from region to region, I think it can be agreed upon that at least these five stages are all fine for tournaments. So it should be very easy to figure out which stages should be in this mode. Also, a thing I want to note about all of these modes is that between games you will wait in a character select screen with an option to change characters. And then after 30 seconds, or if everyone has selected a character, the game will start. Literally the same as Smash 4, so it's not rocket science over here. Alright, so the next mode is ranked one-on-one -on -one sets. Basically the same as one-on-one, -on -one, but you play the best two of three games. And after the set of games is done, you have the option to stay with the player and play more sets, or leave and find a new person to play. This mode is just here for people who are tired of other people playing them one game and then just leaving right after that. And it mimics a tournament as well. Not much else here with this mode, just a way of practicing reading opponents and adapting to their playstyles. And the last mode that I think we should have is a doubles mode. It's simple, just the 2v2 matches, team attack on, and on tournament stages. Alright, and now for the unranked modes. The first one is the same as ranked, one on one. This is the exact same mode with tournament stages as well. It's just here so you can practice without worrying about your rank, so you can try out new characters or new playstyles. Then the next mode is free for all, just some casual fun here. All stages, all items, timed or stocked four player battles. This would allow people to not worry about trying hard or trying to be the best, but to just screw around. And the next mode is doubles. Again, the same as ranked doubles, but it's just a playlist where you can practice doubles more. <laughs> I said doubles a lot. And the next mode I think we should have is a custom mode. Basically the exact same as Elite Smash right now, where you can decide on the rules that you want and the rule set that is used for the game is either your rule set or the opponent's. 
This way you can still have a chance to play another rule set if you want a more custom game mode. I think still having this mode would be nice, but just not as the only mode available. And finally, we have the last mode here being a random mode. This mode would keep on changing, either weekly or bi-weekly, whatever Nintendo wants, but it's just here to be a unique mode that keeps changing every so often. The mode here could be like sword fighters only, no projectile users, or even Pokeballs only. The sky's the limit here. Just a fun party playlist. Anyways, those are just my thoughts on the matter. I guess at this point, we'll just have to wait and see if Nintendo will change anything. I mean, the game's been out for a year now with no format changes to the online structure. So it's bound to happen soon, right? Right? Um... Right? <laughs>